Facebook or 850 WFTL. So go to www.cliferadio.com. I co own a, um, a magazine. I distribute CBD product. Um, I'm general counsel for minorities for medical marijuana, general counsel for Bud for Vets, general counsel for patients with patients. So, in my passion for diversity and inclusion in the cannabis industry, I felt that it was necessary to really focus on the job creation piece. We want to create owners in the industry and we want to create employees in the industry. And a lot of times, being an employee is the pathway to ownership. So I came up with this concept of Canna Headhunters. Canna Headhunters is a staffing agency. It's part of S&P staffing. What we do is we match talent with opportunity in cannabis. So we work with employers and allow them to outsource their recruiting activity to Canna Headhunters. And then we go through and have job fairs within the United States, across the country, in the Caribbean, and eventually around the world, where we identify the best possible talent, and we put them on the path to freedom financially, but also the path to a career that they will love and enjoy in cannabis. So our employers, they're looking for talent, and then we have these employees that we mentor and coach, we review their resumes, we had some of that activity today here at the Canix Jamaica Conference. How the process started is there would be a candidate, they would come and sit with myself, um, my Vice President Ginger McNabb, or my Director of uh, uh, Learning and Development, Trinette Morris. We would look at their resume, we'd ask them for two copies. One we would keep, the other one we would give them developmental feedback. We'll start with their professionalism as far as their appearance, and then we talk about their resume and ways to improve it, uh, restructure it, and also reword certain items so that their best strengths come forward. Once we have that in place, we give them back the copy with the feedback, we ask them to email a revised version, and then it's ready for us to go through the screening process and get it to these employers in the cannabis industry, and they are the ones who are going to employ the candidate. We feel by doing that, we are definitely directly impacting the need for diversity and inclusion, whether it's socioeconomic status, whether it's um, ethnic diversity in cannabis, um, whether it's just people with disabilities or veterans, and making sure those individuals are part of the base of employees and owners in cannabis, and not just part of the user base. And that's our goal, and we are 100% committed to making sure that happens. Specific to Jamaica, I am Jamaican, my parents are Jamaican, I spent my summers here. I, what I see in Jamaica is a, an approach to becoming a mature market. We've seen it in this state, we've seen it in Colorado and in California. What's happening now is there's some frustrations, but there are a lot of needs that can be met by cannabis revenues. Jamaica is already a tourism, tourism state. 
When you add on top of that a legal cannabis industry, we want to make sure there's a flow through of cannabis dollars from the owners and the business people who may have been making money over time in other industries, other areas of tourism, and making sure that there's a direct correlation with that and how communities are affected, how regular people can generate income, how schools can be improved, how neighborhoods can be improved and safer. Um, we want to make sure that happens by the effective use of cannabis dollars in the Jamaican community. So it's increased revenues and also job creation, which leads to a pathway to ownership in cannabis. Thank you so much. Well, this is MCK, JAM TV, and we're happy to have you here doing this because it's really needed right now in Jamaica and it's across a, the country. It's a blessing. Jamaica owns a part of my heart. I will always return to Jamaica and I'll always try to do good in Jamaica because my heritage is what makes me the woman that I am. I, I hope to be talking to you very soon. You're going to be here for the rest of the conference. I'll be here for the rest of the conference. Please join us. There's still a lot of activity to be had. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate All right. Bless everyone. Bless everyone. Cool. Thank you.